What's up you guys? Hope you are having a good one. In this video I want to introduce you to Next.js and tell you a little bit more what it is and how it compares with React. So if you are completely new to Next.js this video is for you. So let's first take a second to think about React. With React we quickly realize that it's pretty much not possible to build fully featured production application with React alone. React is responsible for the view layer of our application. So we as developers still have to make choices regarding other features that are needed for fully featured production applications, such as routing, styling, optimizations, configurations and more. Next.js on the other hand is a React framework that uses React for the view layer aka building the user interface. On top of that it includes lots of features that help us solve common problems and use cases and this way build fully featured production applications. To mention a few of these features include hybrid, static and server rendering, TypeScript support, smart bundling, routing, route prefetching and much more. All this with no configuration needed and no additional packages installed. So you don't need to use time for configuring your app and you can start to write features to your application right away because of the zero configuration nature of Next.js. All these things also contribute to the very good developer experience that Next.js has. Technically speaking one big difference to plain React is that Next.js runs on Node. Whereas plain React application can be hosted on any static hosting service or a CDN. If you are now thinking that you don't want to go through all the hassle there is in setting up and maintaining a node server, don't worry, I have good news for you. Because you can actually host your Next.js application for free in services like Vercel or Netlify. For example, Vercel, which is the creator of Next.js, offers hosting for Next.js applications for free to a certain point. They have made deploying Next.js application super easy and I wouldn't worry about the pricing of Vercel either. For small and hobby projects the free tier is more than enough and even if you choose the pro version it won't break the bank. I myself am hosting my website on the free tier of Vercel and it has been plenty enough. Next.js is also not just some small open source project. At the time of recording this it has over 70,000 stars on GitHub, it has active community, lots of contributors and many big companies are using it. So it is safe to say that learning about and building with Next.js is not the worst thing you could do. If you want to learn more about Next.js well, first of all, hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of my upcoming Next.js videos. And after that, watch this video over here next, where I teach more about Next.js. I'll see you there. No, seriously, I'll see you there. Click on it. I'm waiting.